Happy Friend. Yo, what's really good? It's your boy C Snacks, man. I'm using a different kitchen. I know before you've seen other videos in another kitchen, it's a different one. Big shout out to my boy, Michael Kamish, for hooking this kitchen up. Cause you can't go to my kitchen. I got like roaches and yeah, they come out and they'll probably do like the running man in front of the camera. Anyways, yo, today's special because um, I'm actually gonna do a vegan dish. Big shout out to Lauren Toyota from Hot For Food. Um, she's on YouTube, please, Please make sure you uh, follow the link below. Uh, Hot for food on YouTube, man. She's popping out of Canada, a vegan chef. She is so dope, amazing person. But on top of that, she's a straight up chef, man. She be creating her own dishes and whatnot. And she just dropped her book. Yo, I gotta say, me and my shorty, we was a little vaping, <laughs> chilling in bed, and we was going through her book. And we are like, we gotta make these. Oh my gosh. She was kind of, my girl was kind of hesitant because it's like, you know, thing with vegan food, you would think vegan food doesn't taste good enough as like the regular meat and everything that's not vegan. He was like, ah, oh, it's not gonna be good. I gotta tell y'all, I'm a snack head. That's all I do is snack and like fast food and whatnot. Yo, we had uh, vegan eggs. Now that's one thing, it's like, how can you replica eggs? Yo, I had vegan eggs on like a English muffin type thing. And let me tell you, banging because it's all about the spices in vegan that's all it is with when you cook meat or like any even a burger fries it's spices that's on the beef you can't you're not going to just eat the beef it's not going to taste like nothing it's the same spices that's on these uh vegan meals the same thing and it's made from that too yo so guys i'm telling you if you want to live a healthy life instead of going to the hospital to be a cures just eat healthy man start eating healthy i'm not pushing it on you but that's what i'm going to do I'm still gonna be a snackhead once in a while. You might see me with some a pack of like razzles or some ketchup chips or something. I'm not a I'm not a saint, okay? I'm a snackhead. I'm not a saint. Yo, whoa, I'm gonna keep talking. Big shout out to Lauren. Uh, big shout out to Lauren Toyota, man. This is her book right here. And she gave me this book and she autographed it. Man, she is so special, yo. She autographed it and mailed it to me. You know what I'm saying? It says, to Chris and Ike. <laughs> I can't read like this. Right. To Chris and Ike, I hope you love some of these vegan eats. Lauren, the Manhoffa Food Vegan Comfort Classics. Right here, let me show you another picture of her. See if I can find it out. I got it, yeah. This is a, another picture of Lauren right here. Look at this, she all cute, look at her. Look at her, cute, look at her. Yeah, my homegirl, big shout out to you, Lauren. That's the thing, man. That's what turns people off from making vegan food because it's like a hard process to find the food. You know, you can't just go in like regular grocery store, like freaking food lion or, or stop and shop or something like that and just and get it. It's, it's all in different aisles and they got so much brands. So it's just, you know, it's just make it tough and that makes people don't want to even do it. Or if they make one meal, like, yo, you know how hard that was? Ain't nothing easy, man, nothing. This is what I chose right here. This is uh, some nacho cheese dip. And I, I was, I had the taste for some nacho cheese. And I'm like, yo, how can you replica cheese? Cheese is cheese is dairy. What, what? You can do that. I didn't know that, but you could do that. Look at this, this is not cheese right here. This is, you could just look at it, but like, how is this not cheese, man? It, yo, it ain't. It, it almost kind of looked like vodka sauce a little bit. Nah, vodka sauce is like orange. But listen here, this isn't hard to do. And your boy C Snacks was like, yo, pick this one. I'm, this is what I'm gonna do. I was already in the mood for some nacho cheese and some dip. So, boom. This is the ingredients right here that I got. I think I got everything. So the prep time for this is 20 minutes and the cook time is 10 minutes. That's 30 minutes right there. At first, you need one cup peeled cube potato. Got my potato right here. I'm gonna chop it up with a knife. Boom, I got that. A half cup of peeled diced carrot. Got the carrot. One fourth cup vegetable oil. Got the ghetto cup of vegetable oil right here. Got the thing is sticking to it. One fourth cup of non-dairy milk or water. You can use either milk or water. And I had this in the fridge. I like this, this oat milk, straight oat milk. This is, you drink three of these and you gain crazy weight. <laughs> I got one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Got a tablespoon. And this is the, come on man, get off of the oil, man. I mean, y'all gotta break it up, break it up, break it up. Y'all can't be fighting around here, man. Break it up. Got the yeast, you know, this already looked like a party starter right here. 
what else? One and a half teaspoon of arrowroot flour. This is the arrowroot flour right here. Boom. One teaspoon of garlic powder. This is like sea salt, garlic, pepper right here. It's a little bit of garlic in there, you know. One teaspoon of onion powder. Got some sea salt. Two teaspoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Bam. Six pickled jalapeno uh, slice or for the taste, plus three teaspoons of brine. So you could just use this because the brine is really in the bottom of this right now in the jar. You can get the can or the jar. You just chop it up and pour it here. So you pour the brine. It's like the juices and the spices all up in the side, the, the chips and the spices and the, and the spices. Did I say spices? It's the spices. And then a tablespoon of tomato paste. I'm ghetto, I'm just gonna use some ketchup. This is this from the hood right here, man. You know what I mean? Big shout out to Annie's Organic. All right, man, that's it. That's all the ingredients right now for the nacho cheese. But I gotta kinda break it down what I gotta do. Bring the pot to like a boil and you gotta put the potato inside, the potato and the carrot until fork tender. So once you put it in there at the boiling water, I'm probably gonna turn it back on again until it's like uh, tender and soft, which you could stick it with a fork. Drain the vegetable and immediately place in a high power blender. Got the blender right here, baby. Show off the brand. I'll be your max. Um, where we at? Where we at? Be the max. Got the cooked potato. Did you mean Vitamix? I mean, that's what I didn't say that. I didn't say, I, you know, Vita Mac, but like, listen, Vita Mac, this is Vitamix and Vita Mac, they cousins. Man, this is the cousin. This is like a lower brand than. Good cover up. <laughs> Yo, let's keep that when you say that, when you like, you're talking to me. After, okay, if you cook the potatoes too long, they will become starchy and your sauce will not be smooth. Okay, so you got to make sure you don't do it too long. And you, when you've, you got to drain the, uh, Vegetable oil, don't do too long. And the remaining ingredients to the blender and combine on a high until, you gotta put on a high until it's smooth. So good thing I didn't know that, I'll just turn it on. Uh, your sauce may be hot enough to serve immediately from the blender. Wow. So you could do it right from the blender onto the, uh, the chips. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. These are my chips I'm gonna use. No salt on it, cause I wanna add my salt. That's okay, man. Big shout out to Cameron Boy burping right now. Uh, yeah, so where is it? Uh, your saucepan hot enough to immediately from the blender. If not, the heat in the saucepan, put the heat in the saucepan for a few minutes until it's uh, bubbling and warm to reheat in the microwave. So you could probably put it in the microwave. I ain't gonna do that because why go organic, organic just to use the mic. When you reheat the sauce, a small amount of non-dairy milk or water may be required to get a smooth consistency going. So, okay, when you pour it out, you could pour the, uh, the milk or water. You don't have to use the milk. You can pour water in it to smooth it out. You can make more than you need and freeze it in portions. Can be freeze up to one month. Wow. And just keep reheating it and whatnot. For those nights when you make... Uh, mac and cheese, page one three, but you're thinking about, okay, she's getting deep, yeah. Yeah, okay, boom, that's, that's basically it. So, we got all the ingredients, man. So what she's saying you gotta do is you gotta put the, uh, the vegetables in the pot right now. <laughs> she said, if the nacho cheese were an album, it would be, <laughs> be Dr. Dre's Chronic. Damn, that's how good it is? That's what's up. All right, boom. So the first thing, uh, bring the pot to boiling water and cook the potato and carrot until fork is tender in six minutes. So that's what we're gonna do first. So my first step is to boil the carrot and the potato. I made this mistake so many times. After you put in your vegetable in the hot water, please do not put your fingers or your genitals in the hot water. I done this many times by mistake and I gotta remind myself. There's a bunch of times my girl came in and caught me me just going nuts deep inside the pot. You can't do that. You can't do that. Where just the vegetables. Where, where you because you know, after that, you're gonna have, wanna have intercourse and it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty sore. But I just keep forgetting and it's falling in the pot. Because I'm so big. Yes, do not stick your hand or your genitals in the water. You don't do that. 
All right, see this potato right here? I forgot, you gotta cube it up. So you gotta take the knife and chop this up real quick into cubes, like sugar cubes, Rubik's cube, cubes, like that. Uh, one second, your hands down. When you had a sharp knife, just go right through. It felt like butter, baby. Yo, it's going right through. This is a sharp knife. Chop off, chop off, chop off the tip. So this orange and the red ketchup makes orange. <laughs> that's so great. <laughs> all right, that's it, guys. All right, guys, since we chopped it all up, so all we got to do is, is just drop them inside the pan. Just drop them in the pan. Hey, just drop them in the pan. Well, just drop them in the pan. Drop them in the pan, yo. Drop them in the pan. Don't make it spill on your hand because you're going to jump to Japan. Yeah, yeah, jump to Japan. Oh, okay. I don't think you're supposed to be doing it like that. You could probably just put it in a better way than this. But... Jump to the pan. Everybody know jump to Japan. Everybody know jump to Japan. Um. So guys, after when this is done, and it comes nice and tender, uh, like fork ready tender, you put this immediately inside the, uh, the blender. Then you add the other ingredients on top of it inside the measuring cup and pour into right after boom, 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 boom. So you gotta put this in there and blend it first so it could be smooth, nice and ready. And then, uh, so what we're gonna do is, I should do, I should get these ready. Like the one cup of peeled cube tomatoes, you got that, dice. You gotta start, probably start with uh, the vegetable oil, a couple of vegetable oil. Damn, I wonder if you could, you could pour all that in the blender first or after, she said after. Damn, I wish we had all had like little individual measuring cups so it could be ready. Just go. Guys, right now I am testing and checking the potato. Yep, if it's fork ready, the fork went right through it so easy. And uh, the, the carrot as well. See, it went right in it real easy. I'm just gonna drain it right now in the, uh, inside the sink. Um, so guys, follow me over to the sink, guys. Hey, I'm back. So guys, <laughs> we're over here at the, oh my God, I don't think I should have all this in one hand. Let me put the fork right there. I'm gonna drain out the, uh, the vegetables. Ooh, that's hot. Oh yeah, that's hotter. Boom. Make sure you turn off the stove because uh, you be leaning on it like this and woo. Let me tell you something. All right. Um, boom. She said immediately put it inside the uh, the blender. Shoot. First, you got to figure out how to open it. Not like that. Guys, so the next step is she said to put this immediately inside the uh, the blender. Put it inside the blender. Blend it, and then you follow it with the other ingredients. First, you gotta make sure, you, when you got a high-end blender, you know how to work it. I don't know how to work it. Make sure it's plugged in. I don't understand it. It's plugged in, but I can't do it. Whoa. Whoa. I have a suggestion. What was that? I think usually with something like this, if you actually turn the power switch on, it will work. But which one is the power switch? So just where it says on and off. S start and stop. Mm-hmm. But if you turn the blender on, like you actually power it on, it will work. Oh, okay. What, so what's these numbers for? Like right there where it says on and off. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, okay. So, 
so now this is on. You, you just, oh God. Anyways, like I said, this ain't my place, yo. So a quarter cup of vegetable oil. And a half teaspoon of that good, good. One and a half teaspoon of that sugar, sugar burger. Bam. And I said, bam. <laughs> bam and then bam. One teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder. I'm just gonna put one instead of one and a half. <laughs> I know y'all like, yo, what is this food doing, man? That's what it's supposed to be, man. This is my first cooking, like, nah, this ain't really. This is my first cooking, cooking video from scratch, so. So it's one and a half of this teaspoon. One and a half of this right here. What is this? This is the uh, garlic, um, garlic seasoning or powder. Lemon juice, two and a half teaspoon. Two. Six pickled jalapenos uh, slicers plus three tablespoons of the brine. Okay. What's this for? I bought an onion like a dummy. We didn't need the onion. I got the, the onion powder. We didn't need the onion. Um, so the jalapeno brine, six pickled jalapeno. You gotta put six of these bad boys in here. So I'm gonna look for the biggest one. One, two, three, a four, <laughs> a five, a one, a two. <laughs> I like it spicy, yo. I'm gonna make it nice and spicy. All right, that's it. Okay, now we gotta do one tablespoon of tomato paste. So guys, I'm using some ketchup. That's why I had the ketchup instead of the tomato paste because I don't got a can opener. So stop it! So we're using that. Three tablespoons. So you're gonna get ghetto with it. It's like... I'm all messing up. Lauren, I'm sorry. I'm going way beyond what you was telling me to do. Because <laughs> I don't be listening. So last but not least, we're going to add the, um, the, the milk. One fourth of a cup of milk. Let me do it right here, man. Yo, is this old? No, it's good, December 13th, I'm thinking. That's the thing about oat milk, if you ever use oat milk for baking or whatnot, you gotta shake it up. Cause it's like the, the whatever yeast, whatever that's in it, it separates it from it. So you gotta, definitely gotta mix it up. Let's get the top back on. Sure, you don't want to leave the top off, Chris? Wouldn't that be like sort of go with the theme of today of like being completely disastrous? <laughs> <laughs> he want me to film and go flying off like whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's it, kids. Yeah, guys, look, it looks just like nacho cheese, man. Just like it. It's still hot. And Lauren said you could put it in the microwave to make it hotter. Um, to, well, not how <laughs> to make it, to heat it up. It looks just like nacho cheese, man. And it smells just like it, too. It smells more rich. Um, yeah, man, I just can't wait to try it right now. See if this really works, man. Let me get my bowl. So, guys, man, I got my chips. I went with the black chips, you know, because uh, I'm a black man. And, you know, in this new society, they be keeping down the black chips. And the man be having the white chips and their supremacy over the black chips. And I said, listen, you ain't going to let me in. You're going to let my people go. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just kidding. Um, this is the cheese right here. Boom. I want to do a slow motion like. Damn, I want to take a picture. <laughs> all right, all right. He said, just a, here it is, man. Let me do it from the top. No, 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 no. Ah. Yo, son. 
Damn. Straight vegan, baby. This is it. It looks good, man. Let's see if it tastes good. All right. Put that right here. All right, guys. It looks good. Now let's see if it tastes good. Like to taste it, here it go. God damn it, Lauren. This right here is banging. This is banging, Lauren, and I'm not BSing. Because I put a lot of jalapeno in there. Yo, it tastes just like, it's not as thick as like the nacho cheese. It's not thick like that. But it gives you the, the, the same feeling because all it is is spices inside the cheese. That's what you taste with the cheese. Yo, this is good because I use mad, like mad more uh, jalapeno um, peppers in there and a lot more ketchup. Yo, this right here is banging, B. Mm. Yo. And almost, because it's not thick like cheese, it probably, I could have used a little bit more um, potato or carrots. Yo, <clears throat> wow. That heavy spice um, from the jalapeno, man, really take it up uh, crazy another level. So if you like it spicy, add more jalapenos, like a lot in there if you want. Yo, I, I could taste like the, like I taste like the onions in there and I could taste the, the carrots a lot. In it, but it's good, yo. I'm banging. I'm telling you, man. I'm liking the other side, guys. I'm liking the other side. Mm. Okay, give your sign off. Yo, it's your boy C Snacks, Lauren. Thank you so much, baby girl. Thank you so much. Please make sure you subscribe to her channel, especially if you want to cross over and want to get some vegan dishes. Um, definitely hit up uh Lauren Toyota at uh, Hot for Foods. Check out her book. And uh, yeah, make sure you look for her book. She, it's, it's definitely on Amazon. Um, you could probably find it in Barnes and Nobles too. Um, it's your boy C Snacks. Please make sure, you, please, 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 please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, Lauren. Peace.